Hi everyone. I'm here today with a um, crock pot chicken recipe that I found on Pinterest actually um, probably like a month and a half ago and I've made it uh, probably four times since then and we absolutely love it. So um, before I took the chicken out or anything I wanted to show you what I buy and it's from Walmart and this is what it looks like. It's the Purdue Tender and Tasty. I really hope I'm in the frame. I can't see the top of my camera. Um, tender and Juicy Whole Chicken from Purdue. And it is $5.33. They're usually between like $5 and $6. Um, and I pick one of these up like every other time that I go grocery shopping. And I just keep them in the freezer because this is so easy to make. And you can there's so many sides and stuff that just will go with it. This is like supposed to be a knockoff of a um, rotisserie style chicken. Um, I don't think that it tastes like rotisserie chicken, but it's really good. Um, so I'm going to open this up, get it rinsed off, and pat it dry with some paper towels, and then I will come back and show you um, what to do with your crock pot and also the mixture that goes on top. Okay, so I have the turkey, or turkey, it is not turkey, it's chicken. I have the chicken um, open, I rinsed it off really well, um, shook the excess water and stuff off of it, and then I patted it dry with some paper towels. Now, what you want to do is, let me see, oh my, it'll probably be easier if I just pull this over. Take um, your crock pot, and you want to just take tin foil or aluminum foil, whatever you call it, and I do five balls very loosely. I don't like crumple them up really hard, but I just take um, tin foil, put them in the bottom in little balls. This way the chicken sets up off of the um, bottom of the crock pot and it doesn't get uh, like soggy or um, it doesn't have like sit in its juices. So for the mixture, I found this recipe on Pinterest and I have um, changed a few things and um, to how my family likes it since I've made it a few times. So I will put the original post below so you can um, go check that out and you can make it that way if you want to. But over here I have two tablespoons of paprika and the recipe also called for cayenne pepper. I don't ever have that on hand. I always have um, paprika because of um, deviled eggs that we make for the holidays. So um, I just totally omitted the cayenne pepper. If you don't have that and you wanted a little spicy, you could also add some, like a few dashes of hot sauce or something. Here I have one and a half teaspoons of onion powder, three cloves of garlic. Now I don't have, I don't ever have just regular um, garlic in my refrigerators. I always have this so the minced garlic. So this is what I used. Um, and I used three teaspoons of that. So that's what that is. Then I have a teaspoon of salt and then half a teaspoon of pepper. You want to mix this mixture. So I'm just going to take the tablespoon that I used um, to measure this stuff out. And you want to make this um, into a paste. But you don't want it to be too runny, but also you don't want it to be thick where you aren't going to be able to spread it onto the um, chicken. Another thing is the reason that you pat the chicken dry is that, I don't know if I said this, but it helps the paste stick to the chicken. So my onion powder clumped up a little. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit more water and see where we're at. Maybe a little bit more. It's kind of, you just want it into like, I don't know, I guess like a chunky toothpaste. <laughs> okay, so that looks good. Now, what I do is I don't have any um, like food, food gloves or anything like that. So um, I just take two sandwich bags and I put them on my hand so I can rub it on the chicken. The reason I do this is that um, 
I did this before my first time and I didn't use anything and my hands smell really bad of garlic for like ever and um, the smell wouldn't go away and um, the cayenne pepper dyed my hands so I just do this and why don't you just scoop the mixture up and you just start rubbing it all over the chicken and I'm serious, almost as soon as you put this in your crock pot and your um, crock slow cooker starts like warming up and the flavor um, starts coming through. Oh my gosh, your whole house smells amazing. We love this. So this is one of our now um, made, like something that I make often for us because it's easy I love crock pot recipes and um, if you do like I do and you have like one of these chickens in your freezer just take it out the night before leave it out for a few hours and then stick it in the refrigerator like before you go to bed and then I take it out right in the morning as soon as I get up because I get up early and um, just let it dethaw and I just throw it in the crock pot when it's not frozen anymore okay so then put this in your crock pot and cook it on low for six to seven hours or on high three and a half to four and a half hours. So then what you're going to do is you're just going to set this in your crock pot and set it right on top of that tin foil that you have in there. So just set it in there and you're going to put the lid on it and I'm going to actually cook mine on low today. It's about... Um, almost 11 o'clock and we eat when my husband gets home around 4 30 so I'm just gonna let that go for the rest of the day so when this is done I will come back and show you um, what it looks like it falls right off the bone it is amazing